all have for valiance, wishing that you are all good at home. Here are some important reminders from our Kerbel Registrar's Office for the school year 2020-2021. There are two terms in an academic year. First semester is from August to December, and second semester is from January to May. Each semester consists of two terms. First term is from August to October, and second term, October to December. Each term has two examinations, midterm and finals. Requirements for enrollment for incoming first year. Report card or Form 13A, Senior High School Diploma. Photocopy of PSA or NSO birth certificate. Certificate of Good Moral Character. ID picture, four pieces, passport size, most reasoned with red background. Request form signed for Form 137A. One long brown expanded envelope. Certification of honors received for applicants desiring to qualify as entrance scholars. A waiver may be required for lacking credentials by the admission office. Two copies of one by one picture for library use. Requirements for enrollment for transferees. Initial screening is done by the Registrar's Admission Office based on a copy of grades and credits earned based on updated transcript of records plus honorable dismissal, certificate of good moral character, ID picture, four copies, passport size, most a reason with red background, photocopy of NSO or PSA birth certificate. A waiver is may be required by the Admission Office. For attorneys, students who stopped schooling for reasons other than disciplinary and academic problems may be readmitted. Requirements for readmission, updated transcript of records, clearance from the previous department head, honorable dismissal if enrolled in another school, certificate of good moral character, ID picture, four copies, passport size, most a reason with red background, clearance from any pending accounts. For degree holder for second courses, refresher course, or company requirement. A copy of grades and credits earned based on updated transcript of records plus honorable dismissal. Certificate of good moral character. ID picture, four copies, passport size, most recent with red background. Photocopy of NSO or PSA birth certificate. A waiver is maybe required by the admission office. Adding and dropping of subjects. Student may be allowed to add or drop a subject by using the prescribed form provided that he or she is officially enrolled for the semester. Schedule of adding or dropping will be posted. Subject added or dropped should be with the consent of his or her instructor, validated by school cashier, recommended for approval by the department coordinator, and approved by the register. Adding or dropping of subject is made only for valid reasons such as conflict of class schedule, wrong subject enrolled, subjects with prerequisites, subject with different prescriptive title. Reasons not stated above are considered invalid. Total load carried by a student including additional subjects must not exceed the maximum under the rule on academic load or what is prescribed for his or her curriculum year during the semester. Any student who fails to attend all of his or her regular classes and who fails to apply for enrollment of enrollment shall not be entitled to receive any reimbursement nor be given any credit for his or her subjects. Shifting Any student may be allowed to shift from one program to another after finishing one semester. Student who wish to shift must fill up the necessary forms required by the register, get a recommendation from the program head, and have the approval of the college register. Grading system. Our new system. Assignment increases 40%. Exam, 60%. Note, assignments, quizzes, or AQ and exams, 40-60 as fixed. However, teachers can modify the distribution of percentage of categories depending on the applicability on that module subject to the approval of the academic head. Laboratory is postponed until face-to-face -face is allowed. BSA is still base 0, while the other courses are base 50. Reminder, examination permit. Student
students must settle their accounts before the exam period. All students are required to secure an examination permit before the exam period. No student will be allowed to take an examination without exam permit. The Office of the Register will be posting the exact schedule of releasing of exam permits and students are expected to follow the given schedule. No, they can process someone's exam permit provided they will present an authorization letter. Graduation Requirements Titles are conferred by the KFCI College Division only to those who meet the following requirements. Completion of those specified requirements in a curriculum in which the student is enrolled. Residence of at least two years or four semester. No candidate for graduation shall be allowed to participate in the commencement exercises unless he or she has passed and completed all the subject required by the degree program he is supposed to graduate from. This means no student who shall be completing all requirements the following semester or summer shall be allowed to participate in the graduation ceremonies immediately before the same summer or semester. Students with incomplete credentials will not be allowed to graduate unless such requirements are accomplished before the last semester. All candidates for graduation must apply for graduation. No application, no graduation. No graduation for summer and October. Honors, full scholar. General average of not less than 1.5 or no grade lower than 1.7 in any subject. Partial scholar. General average of not less than 1.7 with no grade below 1.9 in any subject. To avail of scholarship for the first and second semesters, the qualifying average shall be taken from the total number of units taken the preceding semester, which should be at least 18 units. NSTP or CWTS is not included in the computation of academic scholar. Sponsor scholarship. Incoming first-year students with sponsor scholarship are obliged to present certificate of scholarship or endorsement letter issued by their sponsors. Upon enrollment, they are required to pay a minimum amount of 200 pesos for miscellaneous, excluding the school uniforms. Scholastic requirements for graduation honors are as follows. Summa cum laude, an average of 1.2 with no grades lower than 1.5. Mania cum laude, an average of 1.5 with no grades lower than 1.9. Cum laude, an average of 1.7 with no grades lower than 2.2. Outstanding student, an average of 1.9 with no grades lower than 2.5. B grade shall be included in the computation of student's average grade using its full weight of 2 units per PE subject. Thank you for trusting Perbel. Have a great day. Goodbye!